Good morning, everybody. Hey, welcome to Cup of Joe. Hopefully you're having an awesome morning already. It's going to get better now because we're in God's Word. Today we're continuing in Acts chapter 2. Hopefully you've been enjoying our journey here in Acts so far. Um, I could pretty much do a whole week of Cup of Joes on just part of uh, here in chapter 2. Um, but we're going to just um, make our way through it and enjoy it as we go. We're taking off today in verse 14 of chapter 2, and if you have your Bibles, check it out, or if not, if you're driving, just listen. Verse 14 says, well, some context, all the disciples were together in the upper room when the Holy Spirit, as Jesus promised, uh, filled the room, filled their hearts, filled them completely to overflowing, and um, tongues of uh, fire rested on upon each of their heads and after they were filled with the spirit they went out into the streets and people of all different nationalities were he were hearing the disciples and others that were in the up upper room speaking in their own language so this was a, a, a sign and wonder from God that was going on and after all this is going on here in verse 14 here's what happens it says then Peter stepped forward with the eleven other apostles, and shouted to the crowd. So remember, Peter, just er earlier, you know, uh, Pentecost, 50 days after the resurrection, um, before the resurrection at Calvary, there around the cross, right before Jesus went to the cross to be crucified, he had denied Jesus three times, right? So um, uh, Peter went from denying Jesus to now here, full of the Holy Spirit, in verse 14, it says he's stepping forward, not ashamed of the gospel. He's stepping forward with the 11 other apostles, and he's shouting to the crowd, Listen carefully, all of you. Listen carefully, all of you, fellow Jews and residents of Jerusalem. Make no mistake about this. Some of you are saying these people are drunk. It isn't true. It's much too early for that. People don't get drunk by 9 o'clock in the morning. No, what you see this morning was predicted centuries ago by the prophet Joel. And the prophet Joel, in the book of Joel, Joel 2, 28, says this, In the last days, God said, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy, your young men will see visions, your old men will dream dreams, and in those days I will pour out my Spirit upon all my servants, men and women alike, and they will prophesy. And I will cause wonders in the heavens above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and clouds of smoke, I'm not sure what that's going to look like. The sun will be turned into darkness. The moon will turn blood red before the great and glorious day of the Lord arrives. And anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. I just love that. Anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. What I really love and even talked with my own father about uh, prior to him passing away uh, was the fact that uh, when Jesus hung on the cross, you know, there were one to his left, one to his right. And one of them specifically asked Jesus, um, would he remember him when he entered into his kingdom? And Jesus said to him, surely today you will be with me in paradise. So even uh, this thief or this murderer, no matter um, what sin category you fall into, it doesn't matter if even in your last breaths you call out upon the name of the Lord. His mercy, His grace, His forgiveness is quickly there, and He welcomes us into relationship with Him. Uh, being in ministry for years, I've had the opportunity to be at the bedside of people who've passed away um, after uh, I've been there with them, or even as I've been right there sitting with them. Um, and I've had the opportunity to share uh, right there um, in the deathbed moment, uh, Christ, uh, with them. And I've had some who've 
called on the name of the Lord to save him. And I've had one distinctively I can remember say to me, I'll pass. Uh, that was a very sad moment, especially for the family who were there in the room with me at that moment. So if by chance you've never called on the name of the Lord, just wherever you are right now, if you're watching this cup of Joe, just call on him, say, Lord, I believe you died on the cross for me. I believe you were buried and you rose again. And right now I call upon you, Jesus, to save me. Um, give me a new heart. Take this old heart away. Give me a new heart. Um, completely um, change my heart. Um, make me a new person. Please forgive me of my sin. And he will instantly at that moment. So if that's you, I hope you're calling on him now. But in this wonderful uh, time here in the Word, we've read verses 14 through verses 21. Uh, tomorrow we'll take up there in 22 and continue on through our journey here in Acts. Hopefully you've been encouraged. Um, final thought is uh, Peter, who as a disciple was kind of a, um, I'd say it was more uh, an outward, uh, loud or aggressive person. But we see as the Holy Spirit came upon Peter, it brought humility in the place of pride. It brought confidence in knowing what his Savior had done for him. And now he was not ashamed of the gospel, was not ashamed of his relationship with Jesus. And he spoke out to those around him. And that day, thousands came to know Jesus. So Amen. Hey, wonderful time in the Word today. Hopefully you have a wonderful day. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your Word here in Acts chapter 2. We ask you, Lord, whatever area is in us, Peter, it may have been pride. In us, it might be something else. We ask you to, by your Holy Spirit, fill us right now. Transform us, God, by your power. Uh, bring humility. Um, bring transformation. Um, Draw us closer in our walks with you. Um, and for sure, Lord, may, as we're about today with co-workers, friends, family, may they definitely see you, Jesus, in us. May they see the fruit of your Spirit bearing forth from us. And may we take that moment to give you all the glory and praise and honor. We love you, Lord. We thank you that your words a lamp into our feet and a light into our path. Um, may it be bright for our pathway today as we walk. Uh, we love you, Lord. We look forward to our time in your word again tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey, love you guys. So glad you continue to uh, listen or watch Cup of Joe. I know many of you have forwarded it to lots of family, friends uh, around the nation, maybe world. Um, and I'll keep it up as long as you guys are enjoying it. All right, take care. Bye-bye.